Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, occasionally I don't get things right. Yeah, that happens. I put a DRO on this, uh, down DRO. Uh, I guess that's a Z-axis DRO. And it works really well. You turn it on by hitting the zero, and, and then you can reset the zero point. Very compact, easy to use. But when I did that, I removed my depth stop. And I'm kind of missing my depth stop. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to mount this DRO and keep that depth stop. I got a feeling it's going to be kind of involved and we're going to invent as we go. Because I, I don't really have a clear idea how I'm going to do it. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to take this apart. Well, I hope I can figure out a good way to do this. If I don't, you won't see this video. Uh, trying to remember exactly how this goes together. Okay, that. I guess that hand will have to come off. Kind of a crude depth stop, but it works really well. It's uh, That brass nut follows in that track. But it makes it kind of hard to mount that DRO. So I'm thinking maybe remake the cover and mount this to it. Now I have to have some kind of arm coming from this to move this unit. I think that's doable. But this has to be remade. Because it can't stick out like that. I mean it would be, it could I guess. But it, it's hard to mount anything to that. Because plastic needs something a little more substantial I think. I had these uh pieces here on there. I suppose I could do something like that, put a plate. Huh? This plate is screwed on to the plastic here. I can mount these. Maybe. I have to do some trimming on that to make it mount at the same depth as this. Okay, what I'm going to do is mill about a quarter inch off of this, but I'm also going to increase these features here one quarter inch. I need that to be one quarter inch further in. Now we got to mount this off to one side. A 
really that needs to be parallel to the quill. Okay, this rod is just a quarter inch rod. It was mounted in there before. So I'm going to mount a piece of flat stock right there, screw this into it, and that will be, I've got a couple of set screw lock collars, shaft collars. I'll create something like that right there. The way it's adjustable. Okay, I made a bracket that fits on the back of this. And I'm going to use an old a piece that came off my original setup. And I'm going to braise that right there. Looks a little crude. Now I'll make a bracket that goes from here to here to hold the end of this rod. I'll have to do some alignment on that. And when I oh, got a clearance issue there. Okay, I put some button head screws on that. And uh, I actually had some metric screws to fit that. And that should resolve my clearance issue. Oh yeah, look at that. We're in good shape now. Okay, let's see if this thing works. Heck yeah, I like it. Well, that's one way to do a, a Z axis DRO on a RF 30 mil. I modified my quill lock right here. That's a different handle than the original. Uh, if you got an RF30 and you do this, you'll have to put some kind of extension on that handle. I'll put a link to the uh, quill lock modification I made on this. It really helped the quill hold. Anyway, that about wraps it up. And thanks for joining me. And be sure to subscribe and ring that bell.